And now, the general weather around Alaska. Uh, first again, uh, tomorrow, turn your clocks ahead one hour as uh, we, as daylight saving time begins again here on March 10th. And from there, going to the hazardous weather, got wind chill warnings out, continued out here for the eastern Arctic coast and also for Anatovic Pass. Wind chills as low as 80 degrees below zero for the, this area up here tonight into tomorrow and down to about minus 65 for Anatovic Pass there. And then to the south into the northern Koyukuk Valley wind chill advisory in that area. Also wind chill advisories here in Noatak Valley down across Selawit, Kotzebue, Seward Peninsula, Unalakleet, and I believe uh, Steven St. Michael area for wind chills to 55 degrees below zero. And satellite imagery showing uh, dry, clear, very cold up on the North Slope and Arctic coast and chilly weather all the way down into the uh, northeast and northern Bering Sea today, weakening front right through here, that band of clouds there, and some more clouds here just south of the eastern Aleutian areas. Meanwhile, we have low pressure weakening here, actually kind of split. One center moved inland of the strong storm that was off the north coast yesterday, another center right in through here, and that pulling some moisture westward here, mostly in the form of uh, cloudiness. There is a light snow over the east side into the Copper River Basin, light snow fell Golcana much of the uh, day today, and some light snow in Valdez over to Cordova. A little bit of rain in Yakutat and some lingering showers over the northern Panhandle, all decreasing there, and some clearing down over the southern southeast coast. And on the chart today, here's this weakening low. There's a one, it was right on the north coast yesterday and it split a portion moving northward and a weakening portion pulling westward here. And again, showers on the decrease over the northern Panhandle as well as the North Gulf Coast, but areas of light snow uh, in the southeast part of the state as well as the eastern interior and long portions of the Alaska Range, but quite light there and actually quite light everywhere. And then dry, cold conditions, northeast breezes here, keeping uh, continue to pull cold air southward. Uh, over the southwest interior and then over the northern Bering Sea here with high pressure there centered over the north slope, keeping temperatures in the mid uh, minus 30s here throughout much of the afternoon. And uh, again, sunshine over the southern panhandle and this weakening front here that was associated with a strong low that was near the western Aleutians yesterday. That's uh, really washed out now. Another system coming up, spreading some moisture into uh, Kiska Island eastward to Adak and Atka. For tonight, that continues to slide eastward, so periods of rain or snow for the central Aleutians. Rain and snow showers back toward the Komodorsky Islands. Increasing chance of moisture there for Nikolsky. Stays dry over the Pribilof Islands, lows in the teens there. A few isolated snow showers along the Alaska Peninsula. Otherwise clear and cold, northern and eastern Bering Sea, much of the interior here. East and southeast side of the state though, uh, clouds and light snow here from the uh, Eagle area down into the White Mountains around Fairbanks, Delta Junction, Isabel Pass and toward Windy Pass in South Central Alaska. Chance of snow, especially after midnight coming westward here this week trough and covering the North Gulf Coast and Prince William Sound. Amounts on the light side, uh, less than an inch to maybe one or two at the most in some areas. Another weak front develops, increases chances of rain mainly along the coast of the Panhandle. And then for tomorrow, that front doesn't really move much. A weak system there, so that'll keep it cloudy. Occasionally wet over the central and southern southeast coast. Drier conditions up toward Haines and Skagway. Rain and snow again for the North Gulf Coast. Low pressure continues south of Prince William Sound. And uh, after some light snow in the morning, going to uh, scattered snow showers south central Alaska in the afternoon. Tighter gradient uh, means uh, gustier wind, especially areas like Delta Junction, for example, out of the east and northeast, and passes of the Brooks Range, pretty windy with low wind chills there, and windier here over the southwest interior and colder. And still a uh, chance of snow showers for the Alaska Peninsula, but uh, Bering Sea, not too bad. High pressure ridging down out of the Russian Far East, all the way down toward the East Central Aleutians there pushing this front southward. Uh, weak warm front here bringing some moisture into the far western Aleutians. And we'll see this low on Monday takes off to the southeast 
almost off the chart there, but kind of winds up as it does. And that could bring some gale force easterly winds into the eastern Aleutian areas, Adak Atka, with chance of snow extending all the way to Shimya. But mostly clear, dry and cold over the remainder of the Bering Sea again. And some areas here over the southwest part of the state, Cuscoam, Yukon Delta, staying below zero for the highs. Clouds here, a little more in the way of cloudy conditions here. So highs in the 20s again, south central Alaska. Still a chance of snow here for the Madnuska, Susitna Valley, Cook Inlet, Kenai Peninsula, North Gulf Coast, of course, Prince William Sound, about Yakutat there. And uh, another system or front here pushes up toward the Queen Charlotte's mainly. And that could bring a little bit of an increase in some moisture over the southern panhandle during the afternoon hours. Lows tonight in the 30s for the southeast coast and around 10 or 5 to 10 Copper River Basin in the teens in the south central Alaska area here and well below zero here in the interior anywhere from 25 to 40 below. Of course milder over toward Fairbanks and cloudier snowier conditions there. North Slope Arctic Coast lows 35 to 50 below tonight and you can see below zero all the way down into Bristol Bay there, about 18 for the Pribilofs and the Eastern Aleutians, uh, mid to upper 20s, lower 30s for the Central Aleutians. Highs for tomorrow, staying below zero here over the Seward Peninsula, up into the uh, Koyukuk Valley area, Yukon Flats, northward to the Arctic coast, and uh, highs in the 30s to mid 40s for the Southeast coast, 20s here over the Southeast part of the state, including Kodiak Island, 30s for the Aleutians. And the lows Monday morning, again, 35 to 50 below for the North Slope uh, to the Arctic coast and anywhere from uh, 5 to 15 below for the eastern interior. West side here, that colder air coming farther southward, so you can see minus 20 all the way down to Bethel for the low, and uh, 15 below St. Lawrence Island, upper teens for the Perbolofs, 20s for the eastern Aleutians, teens for the Alaska Peninsula, back into the teens, 15 to 20 or 10 to 20 for south central Alaska, 5 for the Copper River Basin, upper 20s northern Panhandle, lower to mid 30s to the south. And the highs, 30s and lower 40s for the southeast coast. In the 20s, south central Alaska, Copper River Basin, lower 30s, Prince William Sound. And uh, 0 to 5 or 5 to 10 here for the east side and 0 to 5 above here out to the west. Below 0 again, Kobuk Valley, Brooks Range out to the Arctic coast. And you can see here right along the uh, Kuskokwim River there, lows below 0, right around 20 for the Parabolofs and uh, for the Alaska Peninsula, teens and lower 20s.